In this Playwright video, I will talk about how to run Playwright test on multiple environments. It can be QA environment, it can be dev environment, it can be staging environment, it can be prod environment also. So let's start with creating the environment variable configuration variable in the .env file. Then we will create the test data for each environments. Then we will create a simple interface where we are defining the test data structure and then we are going to create the utility method that is going to read all the JSON files from the specified environment. Then we will quickly create a one playwright test and we will run the playwright test. Now let's get started with the implementation. So let's add the firstly configuration in the .env file and here I will go to the .env file. I'm adding the configuration as QA. So you can pass this test execution env value from the test hyphen data. So if based on this particular folder name, you can pass the value here so that so it will pulls the respective test data based on the environment name. So that is all about the test execution env configuration. Now let's create the test data file inside the QA folder and the dev folder. So here I'm creating a one JSON file inside the QA folder right now. So here I'll say new file and here I'm giving the file name as model one test data dot JSON. And inside this, we are adding this particular test data. So just you can remember this particular object name and what exactly this data contains. So we are adding just skill one, skill two and skill three. So it is good if you are able to remember the what exactly each key and value contains so that you can cross check it in the later when we are running the test. So similarly, let's create a another JSON test data file. So simply I'll copy this and I'll paste it inside the dev also. So only thing is here I will update the test data. So here I will go to the our file and I will add the dev test data here. And if you see here guys, so each JSON file contains the different test data. So inside the QA we have the skill one is playwright by tester stock. But if you go to the dev test data, so here we have the skill one as EPA testing by tester stock. So we have the different sets of test data in the dev and QA environment. So this is a bit about the test data creation for each environment. Now let's create the one interface. So where we are defining the test data structure. So inside the SRC, I'm creating a one folder called interface. And inside this folder, I'm creating the TS file. So which is model one test data dot interface dot TS file. And let's add the content inside the file. So just we are defining the test data structure. So this is the interface name. So we are adding the skill one, skill two and three and type of the data. We are just specifying it here. And if you go to the our test data file, which is in a JSON format. So we have the three keys here and which is the string type of data. So that's the reason I have added the three key, key names and respective 
type of data which is going to accept it and at the end we are just converting this into the our test data type so we are exporting this test data so just you remember this interface name because we are using this interface name in the our test fixture to fetch the data now so let's create the our json helper type script file so i will copy this file name and inside the utils so here i'm creating the one file called json helper.es so let me close other files so let's copy this code so what it does is so it is going to read the all the files from the specified directory so let me maximize this file so here in the line number one two and three just we are doing the imports firstly and then here we are importing the our interface also so that is where we have declared the test data structure also then so here i'm getting the environment name what we have specified it in the dot env file so by default it will consider the qa environment if you have not added any value for the test execution env property so in the directory path so we will be getting the test data location with the environment name so once we have the directory so we will get to know whether it is a dev folder or a qa folder so once we are having this idea so here we are iterating each and every file which is ending with the extension dot json so once we have the file name so we are iterating each and every file and we are accessing the content from each and every file here then here we have a one json data object so that is where we are adding the file content and then at the end we are returning the json data object so that's it guys it is very simple method so it is going to read all the files from the specified directory now let's move on to the next step so here we have to go to the our test fixture and we have to import the these two things so let's import it so here i will go to the our test fixture which is inside the fixture so let's add the import of these two so this load test data which is coming from the json helper guys so just now we have added this utility method in the json helper so we are loading this in the test fixture first then after that we are loading the test data from the interface if you see this interface so we are loading this particular test data interface which contains the test data structure now once you import all these two things in the test fixture so we have to add the one reference called test data that is of type test data type and then we have to create a we have to call the load test data function so that is going to return the all the data here like this so let's go to the fixture now so that is where we are loading the test data here then firstly let's add the test data here reference so which is of type is test data that's it so let's create sorry let's call the our utility function if you see here so we have to call this function then only we will get the respective data based on the environment so here i'm just putting the comma and i'm adding the code snippet here so it is very much similar how we are creating the object of the each page class right so here we are just calling this function instead of creating the object here 
So once we call this function load test data, this is going to return us the all the test data and we are assigning to the one variable called data and then we are passing on to the use, right? So once you are done with all this setup in the test fixture, now let's create a new spec file. So we will go to the or go to URL method and we will update the little bit of code there. So based on the environment, you need to fetch the required URL. So I will just copy this. Sorry. So we'll copy it a bit later and let's create a one spec file inside the chapter five. So here I'll say 08 underscore run test based on env dot spec dot es. So that's it guys. So here I will go to the my previous spec file optimized pom test and I will copy the test from the previous spec file. Then I will paste it in the new spec file. And here I will go to the one method called go to URL. So if you see here guys, directly we are fetching the URL from the env file. So based on the environment, you need to fetch the URL also. So let's copy this code snippet. So here I have just written one if else condition. So based on the if else condition, we are going to fetch the URL. So let me explain you what exactly I'm doing here. So here I'm reading the property called test execution env. So if it is equal to this, so you need to fetch the this particular URL and if it is not equal to the QA and if it is equal to the dev, you can fetch this particular URL, right? So in our case, I'm using the only single URL. So that's the reason I am not passing the different property here, but you can cross check it after the execution of the test case. So here I'm, if it is coming inside the, this particular if condition, if it is running in the QA environment, if any test is running inside the QA environment, so we are going to print the, what is the environment name? And if my test is running inside the dev, so we are going to print the environment name, right? So this is where you can cross check it so in my case, I'm not passing the different URLs. Now let's go to the, our next step. So here you need to specify the test data dot and you need to specify the object name and you need to specify the key name to get the particular skill in your test. So let's copy this and to access the test data, you need to get the reference in the current spec file. So let's get the reference here. So we have given the one reference called test data. So if you see here in this test fixture, so we are just using this fixture name, sorry, reference name as test data. So that's it guys. Now, once we are having this test data reference, you can fetch the data easily. So here I'm just, I'm getting the skill one by just using the test data dot model one test data dot skill name. Sorry, here I'm specifying the key name. So which is present in the JSON file. So similarly, I will pass to the playlist also click on playlist and then while validating the page title also I need to pass the, the that particular skill right guys so let's try to print the other two and three skill also so here at the end of the test I will write the console.log statement so whenever we are running the test in a different environments 
so that after printing the text from the each JSON file, so we can make sure that it is working fine. So here I'll say just skill colon. So simply I will print this particular data. So here I'll say dollar and inside the flower brackets I'll specify the skill here. So firstly already anyway we are getting the skill one here so let me print it once again. So similarly I will print the skill 2 and skill 3. So here I'll say skill 2 and next I'll say skill 3. So that's it guys. So almost we are ready with our test. Now if I look at this my environment, so here I am setting the QA and let me close all the files first. In the .env file, I am setting the environment name, name as QA and if I go to the QA folder, so here I am searching in the Google with the Playwright by tester stock first time because I am setting the configuration value as the QA. So it has to pick the skill one as playwright by tester stop, right? So if you see my spec file also, so this is where I'm accessing the skill one. So if I pass here dev, right? So it has to get the data from the dev folder and we should be able to search with the API testing by tester stop. So in our case already we have set for the QA and we should be able to search with the playwright by tester stop. So let's run the test now. So let me close other tabs and let's run the test. So first time we should be able to search with playwright by tester stock because configuration is set for the QA and if you see here guys so our test is perfectly working fine and if you go to the VS code so our test is passing right now I will go to the env file now here I will pass the dev so before I run this test right guys so let's go to the our output and here you can see that so our test is running in QA environment and also you can see the all three skills from the our JSON file which is present inside the QA folder. So if I go to the test data QA, so all the skills are present inside the QA folder, correct? Now this time we are running in a dev environment, we should be able to fetch all these values. So that's the reason I have written the console.log statement to make sure we are fetching the right data. Now this time we should be able to search with API testing by tester stock and also we should be able to print all these values from the dev environment. So let's run the test once again. And if you see here guys, we are able to search with API testing by tester stock and also we are able to fetch all the tested data from the dev environment. So here you can see that I am able to fetch each and every key and respective value from the dev environment. And also here you can see that in which environment I am able to run the test also. So this is how you can run the playwright test in multiple environments.